Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about circulant matrix or circulant determinant. So what it really is, is just a simple matrix which looks something like this. So A, B, C and then B, C, A and then C, A and B. So this is a circulant this is called a circulant matrix circulant matrix now let's see why this it why it is called as a circulant matrix <coughs> so we can represent this as abc like this and if you think about it abc if you if we write all the circular permutations of ABC it's going to be ABC BCA and CAB so these are the three circular permutations of A B and C and if you notice if you see the pattern if you consider all the rows let's see the first row ABC this corresponds to the first circular permutation A B and C if you see the second row B C and A this also corresponds to the second circular permutation and if you finally see the third row it corresponds to the third circular permutation here even if you want to look column wise you can see the first column A B and C corresponds to the first circular permutation and the second column corresponds to the second permutation BCA and this third column corresponds to the third circular permutation so this is indeed a circulant matrix and why is this matrix so important so in the subsequent problems we will see that this is a very commonly occurring uh, matrix and we have to calculate its determinant in most cases and if we do this manually like by expanding all the rows and columns it's going to be quite uh, lengthy in terms of computation so it would be great if we can derive a general formula for the circulant determinant I mean the determinant of the circulant matrix so let me write it down again A B C B C A and then C A B so this is the circulant matrix and I want to calculate the determinant of this matrix so I want to calculate the determinant and by the way if you want to remember how to uh, draw the circulant matrix uh, just represent the matrix like this first of all A, B and C are the three elements and we want to calculate their circular permutations you can write it like this the first permutation will be the same as A, B, C and then you just shift it shift the elements one position to the right or one position to the left you will uh, get like ABC and then BCA and then CAB so this is how I remember it and then you can uh, from this this transformation it's very easy just make the rows corresponding to these circular permutations or just make the columns corresponding to these circular permutations okay so in order to calculate the <coughs> in order to calculate the determinant of this matrix we will expand it so we will expand this like this the first element is a and then we have to multiply this by bc minus a square and then in front of the second element which is B we put the negative sign and then B times this is going to be equal to B square minus AC and then we have plus C and AB minus C square so let's actually trick so I let's actually I'm sorry about that let's actually expand this and if we do that what we are going to get is minus a cube 
plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 times a b c now this is a very important result and I encourage you to memorize this even though you don't have to because you can definitely arrive at this again by just expanding this but what you will observe in the subsequent problems that we solve this is a frequently occurring question when we have to determine the determinant of these types of matrices and it would be very helpful if you can just remember this formula so thanks for watching this video hopefully you now know what a circulant matrix and what the determinant of circulant matrix is